In this video, we will discuss the concept wave function. We know that uh, uh, in case of sound wave, and the physical quantity like uh, pressure if we draw the variation of pressure then this will represent the sound wave whereas in case of electromagnetic waves the physical quantity that is the electric field or magnetic field variations draw the electromagnetic waves now we have another type of wave that is the matter waves or de Broglie waves so in this case the quantity whose variation that the quantity whose variation whose variations draw matter waves is called the wave function so this quantity is represented by the Greek letter that is Psi and we know that this Psi is consist of or you can say consist of of real and imaginary part mathematically we can represent it like this psi is equal to a plus iota b so one is real quantity and another is the imaginary quantity and the complex conjugate of of psi is psi star and we can write this psi star is equal to a minus iota p and because this is the complex quantity wave function is the complex quantity so we can say that this quantity has no physical significance it representing the matter wave what it has no physical significance because it is a imaginary quantity but if we take the psi square is equal to psi into psi star modulus of square that is because this is becomes a minus v square so this we call this quantity is probability density 
and this quantity represent psi square represent the probability of finding the particle in the space at that time and another that uh, there is certain characteristics this wave function must possess some characteristics of wave function only the wave function is accepted if it satisfy uh, these following characteristics that one is that wave function psi must be continuous and single value everywhere another characteristics that its derivative curly psi y curly x curly psi y curly y and curly psi y curly z must be continuous and single value everywhere third characteristics this wave function must be normalized it means wave function must be zero as the x tends to plus minus infinity or you can say y tends to plus minus infinity or z tends to plus minus infinity so these are the requirement that must be imposed on this physical quantity wave function so in order to write the equation for the wave function that if we consider that uh, we write the wave function in particular direction say x direction now we will write the equation for in term wave function for a wave propagating in positive x direction so we can write this psi is equal to a 
exponential minus i iota upon h cross hmm. psi is equal to a e minus iota omega t minus kx and we know that here omega we can write is equal to 2 pi nu and uh, we can rewrite this expression because we know that V is equal to h nu energy of a photon is equal to h nu from this nu comes out to be e y h and we can rewrite omega is equal to 2 pi e y h and we can write this omega is equal to e by h cross where h cross is 2 pi by h cross is h by 2 pi so we will use this omega we will place omega by this e by h in this equation 1 this is equation say 2 similarly we know that k is propagation constant k is propagation constant then write 2 pi by lambda and we know that the d Broglie wavelength the expression for d Broglie wavelength lambda is equal to h y p so we write k is equal to 2 pi h by p so we can write this is p upon h cross so now this is equation number 3 we will use 2 and 3 <laughs> use equation 2 and 3 in equation 1 so the wave function can be written as a is equal to e to power in term of omega that uh, is minus iota in term of omega we can write e y h cross t minus p y h cross x or we can write this a is equal to minus i y h cross we will take h cross common this becomes e t minus p x so this is the wave equation for a free particle.